Play free. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the GSMC Fantasy Sports Podcast, brought to you as always by the GSMC Sports Network. Hope you guys are enjoying the show thus far. And now, the middle segment of today's show is going to be a weird one because this is the first time where I've really delved deep into a QB situation in terms of fantasy. We've never really had a QB situation quite like the one we were having in Pittsburgh. You have a guy in Russell Wilson who is losing kind of his credibility as the years go by in terms of how he's viewed in the world of football. And a guy in Justin Fields who it kind of feels like never really got the opportunity to show himself in a positive light because of all the tension that was created when he was a Chicago Bear. Bring these guys together and it really makes for one of the more weird, controversial QB rooms in the league. So I just wanted to try and present to you guys a breakdown of what makes this QB room so difficult to pin down and how it translates to what fantasy is going to say about these two. So let's talk about how the whole situation is panning out right now because we're hearing a lot of different details coming out of training camp for the Steelers and we're hearing a lot about how this QB situation might not be shaking out as many people expected. Obviously, as soon as it was set in stone that both of these guys were going to be in this QB room, everyone thought that Russell Wilson due to his much more experienced nous in the National Football League, would win this position single-handedly. And handily, for that matter. He's a nine-time Pro Bowler. He's a Super Bowl winner. He is top ten in fantasy in his first nine seasons. And no QB in 2017 and more fantasy points than him. So, he definitely has the appealing CV. That's not the issue here. The issue is more off the field than on. Because Russell Wilson, somewhere in Seattle, started becoming more of a businessman than, say, a football player who teams would be passionate about playing with. And somewhere along the line in Pittsburgh, decisions are going to have to be made about whether or not that's a healthy thing for a team that's really trying to solidify the QE position. To have two guys who have such potential really is special for Pittsburgh because they're really trying to find something because, good God, Kenny Pickett was awful for them. (laughs) I'm sorry to Kenny Pickett, no offense to him, and he's trying to find his way in this league, but he did not cut it for them. And so now, looking at this situation, Wilson certainly offers something, but he has to offer something back. He can't now be a businessman. He has to be someone who is comfortable with a team, and they have to reciprocate that feeling with him. And to earn their trust, he has to, if he wins the position, immediately cement himself as someone who wants to get this Pittsburgh Steelers team going. Now, Fields, on the other hand, might not have as much experience, might have been looked down on for not necessarily getting going in Chicago, but I don't necessarily think it's through any fault of his own. He's someone who has so many traits that Chicago could have brought out earlier. Yes, he was injured, but... They didn't necessarily predicate their offense around him. They didn't necessarily make it as field-centric as it could have been because Fields, he's a fantastic rusher. He hasn't had a 3,000-yard season passing or a 20-touchdown season passing. He has had no playoffs or Pro Bowls, but in terms of upside, I would say Fields is doing well. And that's what is coming out of their training camp right now. Russell Wilson right now actually has a calf injury. And Fields has been getting a lot of first-team reps. And so, 
where we talk about this QB situation. The tale of the tape says Wilson, but the tale of the future says Fields. And to complicate it even further, to muddy it up even further, both of these guys are on one-year deals, which is very telling about how the Pittsburgh Steelers want to test the waters with this position. Both of these players have to tread very carefully in how and if this position shakes out the way people expect or if it's unexpected. Because if Wilson gets the job, I guarantee you Justin Fields won't be happy, but he won't be sulking either because he feels like this is a new opportunity for him. But what if Justin Fields outright wins the position over Russell Wilson? What will that do for Russell Wilson's career, his fantasy stock, and how his reputation gets muddied even further? Because if it weren't for his reputation, if it weren't for his own decision making, he could still be in Seattle. I truly believe that Russell Wilson, if he didn't have this attitude shift, could still be a Seattle Seahawk. Now, in terms of fantasy, if I were to kind of sit both Wilson and Fields down and be forced to choose one of them for my fantasy team, to be completely honest with you, I wouldn't want to pick. And that seems very weird because I say that Fields has more potential. I say that Fields, his rushing ability is some of the best for a quarterback in fantasy we've seen in quite some time. But at the end of the day, Russell Wilson definitely has a trait that not many people have. He's a fantastic deep ball. When I look at the offense in Pittsburgh, I feel like it's more predicated to Wilson's traits than Fields. George Pickens is a deep ball threat. Pat Fryermuth can create yards after the catch. There are a lot of players on this offense that kind of fit Wilson's mold more. And so, being forced to pick, if you took real life out of the question and, and it was just set it up in terms of fantasy, it's very difficult because Fields... Yes, he's, he's a rushing quarterback who has a lot of value there. But at the end of the day, if Fields can't necessarily get the ball down the field as much, how much of his rushing will outweigh his deficiencies passing? Whereas Russell Wilson, a lot of people knew him for his running in Seattle. A lot of people loved his style of running in Seattle. He ran because he had no other option, and he really opened up that Seattle option because a lot of people had to account for him. Now it's kind of taken away from him, and now I feel like he wants to lean more into the deep ball that makes him so threatening. We saw a little bit of it in Denver, where that deep ball opened up for him, and he really found that connection. We saw it last year with him and Sutton. Should he win this QB battle outright? I really think that Russell Wilson is a quarterback who I wouldn't necessarily say should be drafted. He could be drafted, but he's a fascinating streaming option. Think about it. The Steelers are playing in a tough division, the AFC North where wins will be hard to come by. Do you want a quarterback who has a fantastic amount of potential in one trade, has shown it, but is still very drastically raw in an area that you really want to improve upon? Or do you want a guy who has a couple off-field issues, has a couple of things that make you pause and give you pause about what he offers to a team but at the end of the day makes more sense for what you want to do offensively 
and makes more sense in fantasy when you talk about fantasy value and passing the ball. Because Fields' is rushing is great. I want, I want to see it utilized in the system for Pittsburgh. Because if Justin Fields is utilized in many different ways, I really feel like he could be a useful asset to this Pittsburgh Steelers offense. But you can't get past the fact that Russell Wilson, at this point in his career, has something you can't deny. And that is the ability to open up the passing attack and make George Pickens and Pat Fry both happy. If it were up to me in this QB battle, I would platoon them for some games. I would see which one fits for the opponent and how they match up and platoon them. I wouldn't pick because Field is just too valuable to be sitting on the bench all the time. And Russell Wilson certainly is a very schematic kind of quarterback now. He's certainly someone who fits a certain scheme at certain times. But in terms of fantasy, even if it's just for one short year, I would still take Russell Wilson over Justin Fields for just this one time. That's just because, A, he will be viewed more as a starter, and I think he'll ultimately win this job. And B, I think there's just something about Russell Wilson that screams Steelers. I think this is a perfect team fit for Russell Wilson because the way that the Steelers are managed really fits with Russell Wilson's identity. But don't ignore Fields either in terms of fantasy because there's going to be a ga- there's going to be a game where Fields is going to be relied upon and you don't want to miss out on that. And so when I think about this QB room, it's definitely going to be difficult to parse when it comes fantasy football time. And you're a bit desperate and you want to pick up a quarterback you think will be competent enough to get a win. So tread carefully with this QB room, but it's a fun one to consider. That will just about do it for this segment. Coming next, we switch over to our IDP player profiles and an exciting secondary player who is in one of the best in the league, really looking to have another breakout season. We'll be right back to talk about him after the break. <laughs> 